Hello friends, this video on symmetry part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay, now we will look at symmetry in geometrical figures. Now that we have seen alphabets and numbers, it's turn for geometrical figures. So you see many figures on the screen like a triangle, rectangle, square, quadrilateral, hexagon, etc. So let's see how many lines of symmetry each of these have. So let's start with the triangle. So in case of the triangle, we have a vertical line of symmetry because it divides it into two equal halves. How about a horizontal line of symmetry? Well, it doesn't have a horizontal line of symmetry. So, but it definitely has a vertical line of symmetry. Now, exactly how many lines of symmetry a triangle has also depends on the properties of the triangle. For example, if you are talking about an equilateral triangle whose all the three sides are equal. So, an equilateral triangle will have three lines of symmetry because this would act as a line of symmetry. Again, this line would also act as a line of symmetry because all the three sides are equal in length. Similarly, this line would also act as a line of symmetry. So if it is equilateral triangle, it would have three lines of symmetry. But if we are talking about an isosceles triangle, in that case, it would have one line of symmetry. So depending on what kind of triangle we are talking about, the number of lines of symmetry would vary. Okay, now let's move on to uh, a rectangle. A rectangle again has a vertical line of symmetry. It also has a horizontal line of symmetry because both horizontal and vertical lines divide it into two equal halves. Well, how about a square? Now a square is just like a rectangle but in case of a square all the four sides are equal. So that is how a square is different from a rectangle. But because of that difference the number of lines of symmetry in a square is a lot more than that of a rectangle. Look at the square. So you have a horizontal line of symmetry. You also have a vertical line of symmetry because the vertical line of symmetry divides it into two equal halves. One half is like this, the other half is like this. It also has a diagonal line which acts as a line of symmetry because in this case it divides it into two triangles like this which are identical and they exactly overlap each other but this diagonal line doesn't act as a line of symmetry for the rectangle because if you try to fold the rectangle along the diagonal the two halves do not cover each other completely so in case of square you have how many lines of symmetry one horizontal one vertical one diagonal and this side also you can have one line of symmetry so basically you have four lines of symmetry in case of a square look at this image of a kite so here again you have a horizontal line of symmetry you also have a vertical line of symmetry but when you look at any other line like this, so do you think that this line would act as a line of symmetry, the red one? No, because one part is a triangle, the other part is such a huge shape. So obviously the two halves are not equal. Let's look at the hexagon. So when you look at this hexagon, how many lines of symmetry this has? Now again, here also there is a catch. So if all the sides of the hexagon are equal in length, that means if it is a regular hexagon, in that case you have many lines of symmetry. For example, this would act as a line of symmetry because it divides it into two equal halves. Similarly, this would act as a line of symmetry dividing it into two equal halves. This would also act as a line of symmetry dividing it into two equal halves. Now these would be possible only when all the six sides are equal. So you see that you have many lines of symmetry. For example, when you look at this line, this also divides it into two equal halves. This is one half and this is another half. Right? So in this fashion, if it is a regular hexagon, you would have six lines of symmetry. Four I have already drawn and the remaining two you, uh, remaining two you can draw on your own. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.